Hey guys! I thought I would film a little haul video for my Christmas gifts and some things I bought during New Year's. My family doesn't really do Christmas gifts because we're a very large family, there's lots of people, and buying gifts for everyone would just be way too expensive. So we usually just give each other one or two small things or we do group presents. But I also bought a few things for myself during Christmas and New Year's, so I figured it might be fun to show you what I got. So here are the things that I bought or was gifted during Christmas and New Year's. I'll go through them one by one and show you what they are. If you watch my daily vlogs from December, you'll see that I got a Cineplex gift card from my boss at work. It's $25. I'm really excited about it because there are a few movies I really want to go see with my boyfriend or with my friends, and this will let me go see them without having to spend my own money, which is always nice. My boyfriend got me Fire Emblem Awakening for a Christmas present this year, and I am so happy. It was the game I wanted the most after Pokemon Y. I've never really played a Fire Emblem game before. But I really love this one and I love the character designs and I already see at least two or three characters I want to cosplay and a couple of characters I'd love for my boyfriend to cosplay, although he's not really into it that much. But if I could make the costumes, he might wear them. So we'll see. This year my mom got my siblings and I a little bag of different things including a journal for each of us and she got me the there is no enjoyment like reading one. It's got lots of space for writing. It also has these great little quote pages. This is probably my favorite one. The problem with journals is they're so pretty that I don't want to write in them. I don't know what to fill it up with. If you have an idea for what I should use this journal for, please leave me a comment below and let me know what it is because I'm totally stumped. I don't know what to do with it. It's just too pretty. My mom also got me this super cute hair clasp. It's sort of French country style I guess and it's gold here. This is really nice because I actually really needed one of these for my hair. I don't own any of these types of clasps so thanks mom. My mom also got me a pair of socks with cats and polka dots. It's awesome because I love cats and I love polka dots and I love all these colors together and I really needed socks because all of mine have holes in them. My mom also got me a super cute pair of pajamas which I'm really happy about because I really needed new pajamas. My old ones had a big hole in the bum. Look at how pretty they are. They're sparkly and pink and perfect. I love them. I bought a couple of games for us to play when I went to visit my family. I got them King of Tokyo and Gloom. But as you can see, I didn't leave the games there. I brought them back with me. So it's kind of a present for me and kind of a present for them. And if you watch my daily December vlogs, you'll have seen these before. These are all gifts I bought for myself as either Christmas gifts or New Year's gifts. The first thing I got was this calendar called A Song in the Library, which I thought was really fitting because it's about libraries and books, and also fat puffy birds, which I love. I'm the kind of person who always needs to have a calendar around because I cross off the days as I go. And this calendar has everything I like in it. It has books, it has birds, it has beautiful art. And just look at the picture for April. It's little birds in a nest in a bookshelf. My birthday is in April, which is why this is exciting. I also bought myself some clothes. These are workout tights. I'm also probably gonna wear them just as tights when it's really cold, but Therefore, when I go to the gym, I dislike wearing shorts in general, and I really dislike wearing shorts when I go to the gym. I'd rather be fully covered up as much as possible, so tights are the best option for me. I know they're Nike. I'm not a brand kind of person. They were on sale, and they were the best fitting ones I could find in the store. The other ones didn't have the stretchy waistband. This one did, so that's why I bought this one. I also got a couple pairs of jeans. Technically, these are jeggings, but they look like jeans, so close enough. I got the high-rise ones because low-rise jeans are not, not for me. Bad idea. I also bought this sweater from American Eagle. It's really warm and nice and it was on sale for $17, which was basically 70% off or something like that. And it's really nice and warm and I like it a lot. I also got this cardigan sweater thing. As you can see, I'm wearing my pajamas. I got this because it's really long and warm and it's very librarian-esque. And I like these little bits on the hands. I think that's really cute how it folds over. Librarian Jesse, outfit complete. Not really. I also bought a couple of things from Sephora. I'm not a huge makeup person, so I don't usually buy makeup just because I don't really know how to use it. So as you can see, I only bought two things. I bought the eyeshadow primer potion. I've used this before and I really like it. It helps your eyeshadow stay on for a long time. And I also got eyeshadow. Now I own the Naked 2 palette, but I don't actually use a lot of the shades in it. So this time I figured I would just buy one shade because this is one that I use all the time. So I bought Foxy, which is just a base shade that I use just for everyday uses kind of thing. Isn't the Urban Decay packaging beautiful though? I'm a nerd when it comes to graphic design and packaging. 
So I love how this looks and I love how they did the labeling and the stickers with the same color as the eyeshadow. So here's what it looks like out of the package. If you flip it over, it has the name of the shade on the back and all the relevant information. And I love how when you open it, it sort of resembles a Sailor Moon transformation object or something like that. 50 shades, power, activate. And the last thing I bought is my new Canon camera! I actually got this from a friend of mine. Unfortunately, this camera doesn't have video functionality, but I've wanted a good camera for a long time because I don't have one. And I'm so excited about using this camera to just record my life and the cool things that happen to me and my family and friends. So I'm really happy I finally have a good camera. At last. So that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't think I'll do a lot of haul videos just because I don't really buy stuff that often, but I do like showing off some of the things I get now and then. And I know it's fun to see what other people buy. If you have any questions or comments about what I bought, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more haul videos in the future, let me know and I'll do my best to do those whenever I go shopping or something like that. And thanks for watching. Bye bye!